Hello guys, my name is Dominic aka Shooter McDonald Gaming and today I'm gonna be doing a versus about Battlefield 4's commander mode against Battlefield Hardline's hacker mode. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I have another shout out today. This shout out will go to LA Sounds. Congrats and to get in a shout out just leave a comment. Be my first three people to put a comment in my videos and I'll shout you out. Congrats to LA Sounds. I do hope you like and subscribe to my channel and share my video with your friends and my channel let's get in here so to start off you have a scanning you a scan UAV and an EMP UAV you also have a 3d view where you can like zoom in and see like the actual graphics and stuff really you, we also have a proxy attack which yeah it, it jams the other commander or they can't use their equipment for 14 seconds now let's get into the stuff you can unlock you can get a supply drop a vehicle drop and you can also get a like a promotion to the t your teammates I don't know I forgot what that um, lightning symbol means right there but um this this command mode is pretty good and let's say for the um the middle the central point and conquest when you play it if if your team controls the central point then you'll be able to unlock like what it offers so for example on Dawnbreaker if you can control the central C point you get an AC-130 aka a gunship but in like um, maps like Hanging Resort you get a cruise missile which is like a big bomb like goes off like on any um, location and everyone should know what an AC-130 is. It's a big gunship with three, um, I guess you can call them turrets. <laughs> but this commander mode is probably the only commander mode in here. I don't really know. But the other team can also have a commander. So it could be like commander versus commander. It's pretty good. And... You basically take control of the whole thing, and I just see guy like, proxy attack, and that and this happens, and you can't really do anything, but you can move around on it. I want to say that if you want to try to get out commander, you can't go and be a person anymore, so you have to quit the match that you're in. But this is pretty good. I will say that, but that's all really for commander mode. Um, I hope this can get better, or this can be in other Battlefield games, cause I will, I will play it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna just now go to Battlefield 1, not Battlefield 1, Battlefield Hardline, and show you the hacker mode there. Okay, now, towards Battlefield Hardline we go. Okay, so for Battlefield Hardline, I'm just going to tell you, it's not that good. I mean, it has the 3D view, that's a return, and like, it's probably better because you can move around with it. But what this hacker mode has to offer is a Trojan, GPS scanning, GPS scanning, scanning, the, yeah, back door, whereas like you can hack in to like the equipment around the map. Like y if you can see, there's camera things and transformers, which are the lightning bolt icons. And yeah, it's called like engage camera. Can bra? <laughs> I'm having some bad English. <laughs> yeah, fast deploy, where I guess you can just deploy right like that. Um, and, like, this is not good, but it's, like, what a hacker is. You can just hack into stuff. It's pretty good. 
and squad upgrade I guess that means like um if you want to like probably promote them like from Battlefield 4 and that's cool but <laughs> this is not good I will say that the winner of this battle has to be Battlefield 4 since it gives you a lot more assault things to do and it's just better <laughs> I mean yeah you can hack into things and do yeah and do all of that but it's not that cool if you think about it I hope they do like more like commander and probably more hacking modes and future battlefield games but yeah oh I forgot to say you can't earn money in like points that you can do in like other uh, battlefield games and there is no sadly there is no like like um I guess you can call it probably like a cruise missile thing or AC-130 and in, in, in like Battlefield Hardline because if you capture the central point you really you don't get anything for hacker mode so I do hope you enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe I don't know if you would like to call this an overview but I'm gonna call it a versus so I hope you enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe share this with your friends and my channel and be sure to check out my other videos too I will and hope you find those interesting and also if you still haven't got a shout out please be my top three people to put a comment in my videos and I'll be sure to comment you back or probably or something like that or, and I'll shout you out in my next video I make with commentary. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time. Oh, I, I forgot to say. I'm going to do a lot more Call of Duty videos for Infinite Warfare. Just so you know. But that doesn't matter for Battlefield. Hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time.